Section 3.8 is unions and intersections of sets. I can find the union and intersection of sets. Big ideas here. Given two or more sets, the set of elements belonging to at least one set is the union of the set. And given two or more sets, the set of elements belonging to all of the sets is the intersection of the sets. So the union of two or more sets is a set that contains all elements of the set. Uh, the symbol for union is this guy right here. It's kind of like a big U for union. Okay. Um, to find the union of two sets, list the elements that are in either set or in both sets, as shown on the bottom of page 214. And I have kind of a diagram of it here as well. Our universal set is the entire rectangle. A is our first circle, B is our second circle. Um, and our union of them is anything that's in A or in B or in both. So the entire thing is highlighted here uh, for our A and B circles because uh, for a union, it acts kind of like an or. Anything that works for either set uh, or both sets is included. Example one here is a union of sets. In your left pocket, you have a quarter, a paper clip, and a key. In your right pocket, you have a penny, a quarter, a pencil, and a marble. What is the set that represents the different items in your pockets? So here, we're looking for all the different items. Uh, in our left pocket, I'm going to write this as a set and just list them out. And again, when we list things in a set, uh, it's our roster form. So we have a quarter, paper clip, and a key. And all I did there was uh, list them out in roster form because it's a set, I put them in curly brackets. In our right pocket, again, my set is a penny, a quarter, a pencil, and a marble. And we want to know what set represents all the different items in our pockets. So it doesn't matter if it was in left pocket or right pocket, we just want to know all the different types of things, which is the union of our left and right. Remember, this is our union symbol, and it acts like an or. So we have a quarter, I have a paper clip, Uh, we have key, I have a penny, I have a quarter, but I already put quarter here, so we don't list it again, we just want the different types of items in our pockets, so even though they're two different quarters, uh, the different type of item is already there, we already have quarter listed. Pencil, and marble. So this right here is a set of all the different types of items that are in your pockets. Whether it's left pocket or right pocket, or you have more than one of them, it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, we just want all the different types of things that are in your pocket. Now, it wants us to write sets P and Q in roster form, and then find the union of P and Q. So P, right now it's in set builder notation, X as long as so any number x as long as that number is a whole number less than 5. So in roster form, we list all these out. Remember, whole numbers start at 0, kind of like a hole in the ground. And we want them to be less than 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Q is an even natural number less than 5. So any number as long as it's an even natural number less than 5. Natural numbers start at 1 but one's not even. Two is, three's not, four is even, and we stop there because we want them to be less than five. Now, my union here of P and Q is anything that's in either. So I have a zero, a one, a two, a three, a four, two, it's already accounted for. 
4 is already accounted for. So this is the union of the two. Remember a U looking uh, symbol here means union and it acts like an OR. The intersection of two or more sets is a set of elements that are in all of the sets. The symbol for intersection is this guy. It's like an upside down union symbol. When we list an intersection, we list only the elements that are included in both sets, as shown on page 215, and here I have a diagram as well. Our entire rectangle is our universal set. Set A is our first circle, set B is our second circle, and we want only the parts that are in both, just this middle part here. That's our intersection. I remember this symbol as being an intersection because it looks kind of like an N, uh, and it also acts like an and. Okay, so that's an intersection. It works like an and. has to be in both in order for it to work. Disjoint sets have no elements in common. The intersection of disjoint sets is the empty set, as shown on page 215. Uh, I have a diagram of it here as well. Our universal set is the entire rectangle. Uh, we have set A, set B. They don't overlap anywhere. There's nothing in A that's also in B. Uh, a could be odd numbers, B could be even, for example. There's nothing that's in both, so our solution is no solution, or you can show that with just empty brackets. Example 2 is the intersection of sets. X is a natural number less than 19, Y is an odd integer, and Z is a multiple of 6. We want to know what is the intersection of X and Z. So right now I'm looking at just x and z. Natural numbers, again, start at 1, and we want them to be less than 19. And here I can actually list all these out. There's a lot of them, but I can do it. For set Z, it's a multiple of 6. I can't list out all my options here because they go on forever. It's numbers like negative 24, uh, negative 18, negative 12, negative 6, 0, 6, 12, 18, 24. And those dots show that it continues in both directions. So I can't possibly list them all here, uh, but those are some of my options. Now, for the intersection of the two, I want just the ones that are in both. So I'm going to check set X in set Z because I know all the things in X. So 1 is not in Z, 2 is not, 3 is not, 4 is not, 5 is not, 6 is. It's a multiple of 6 as well. 7 is not, 8 is not, 9, 10, 11, 12 is a multiple of 6. Those are not, but 18 is. So here, my set of all elements that are the intersection of x and z, or that are in both x and z, are 6, 12, and 18. Now for b, we want the intersection of u, sorry, of uh, y and z. We want the intersection of y and z. Remember, this is an intersection symbol. It works like an and. So y is an odd integer, and z is a multiple of 6. So I already have some z's listed out, so let's check them to see if they are odd integers. Negative 24, no. Negative 18, no. No, 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 no. No, every multiple of 6 is going to be even, because if we take an even number times anything, we always get an even number every single time. So if I start off with an even number and I multiply it by anything, uh, we end up with an even number. So here, I'm not going to have anything that's in both. So my intersection of y and z is an empty set, a null set, no solution. You can also mark this with just empty brackets. Now, feel free to pause here and give this a try if you'd like. For A, we want the intersection of A and B. This is like an and, so things that are in A and in B.
We put them in curly brackets because it's a set. I check. Is it two in both? Yep. Four? No. Six? No. Eight? Yes. So the only things that are going to be in both are two and eight. And some of you are probably thinking, yeah, but you didn't check all of B. Uh, but if I check it, I know there's not a zero in A, a five in A, or a seven in A, because I already checked everything in A. So even though there's pieces left in B, I know those aren't in A too. So you can check both if you want to, but I already know I have all that are in both. For B, I want the intersection of A and C. So things that are in A uh, and in C. So if I look, uh, C is an odd whole number. So I need to check A and see if the, any of those are also odd whole numbers. 2 is not, 4 is not, 6 is not, 8 is not. So here, I don't have anything in my set, or we could say it's an empty set or a null set. Okay, there's nothing in both A and in C. C is all, uh, odd whole numbers, A are just even, so there's nothing there. For C here, we want the union of B and C, and I'm gonna write this over here just so we can still see our sets. We want the union, no we don't, we want the intersection, sorry, intersection of B and C. So we want things that are in B that are also in C. So we check what's in B and check and see if it's odd whole numbers. Zero is not odd, zero is even, two is even, five is odd, seven is odd, eight is even. So the only things that are in both are 5 and 7. I'm going to try one more here. For D, I want this. Okay? And the difference between A and D is my symbol. Remember, if it's uh, like an arc, looks kind of like an N, that's an intersection. That's an and. Here, it's like a U for union, which is like an O, or. So I want anything that's in A or in B. So I list 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. I already have a 2, 5, 7, and I already have an eight. So here, uh, my set of the union of A and B is zero, two, four, five, six, seven, and eight, which is different than my intersection. Remember my intersection here are only the things that are in both. My union are the things that are in either. So every element gets listed in a union, in an intersection, only the ones that are in both. And I'll stop here and finish this section in another video.